Good morning, my name is Hector Ventura. I'm the uh, program director of the Cardiology Fellowship and a former trainee of the institution in 1986, 86 to 89. First time of three years of the fellowship. One of the biggest questions is why this program is good or you know, why would you come here? Okay, the clinical experience of the place is tremendous. I mean, you don't have to worry about patients. You can see any patient from, from a, a simple cardiology patient to a very complex, advanced cardiology patient. We have intervention, EP, everything you can do during the fellowship. Not only that, but also we have, you know, subspecialty fellowships, which is also important because you learn in a different way. I think uh, you're going to you're gonna enjoy the place. I mean, again, the, the patient population is here. And, uh, and, and the good news is that you also stay around here. I obviously, I will say that as a clinical program, this is second to none. I, I've been here since forever. So, and I was a trainee, as I said before, so I finished in 1989, my fellowship. So I welcome to the, to, to the interview. I hope you enjoy the, you know, uh, the place in, in, in a more virtual way. But at least uh, you will talk to the, the chief fellows and the fellows specifically. They will tell you the truth more than anybody else. aspects of my career here at Oshner that I truly appreciate is the level of camaraderie in the department, both between the faculty but also between the faculty and the fellows. Specifically, the level of camaraderie between the women in our department is outstanding. We have more female faculty here at Oshner than many other institutions and we really work to try to support each other and try to encourage each other. I know I can pick up the phone any time, day or night, and call any of my colleagues knowing that they're going to answer the phone and help me out. And I think this, is, this level of support is important for the fellows as well. As you know, cardiology still tends to be a male-dominated field. And I think it's important for our female fellows to be able to build a strong mentoring relationship and work with women who have walked in their shoes and who remember what it's like to be a fellow. One of the ways we do this is by having quarterly get-togethers. So our female faculty and fellows will pick a restaurant to go to after work where we sit back, have some food, have some drinks, and just really catch up on what's going on in each other's lives. So I think mentoring is important for all of our fellows, and I think that it's something that we do well here at Oshner. Hi, and uh, good to have you here, and I hope you enjoy your interview, even though it's virtual. Uh, I am an interventional cardiologist, and I'll tell you that the exposure that you're going to get to interventional cases is very, um, it's excellent. You will be able to see patients that get interventions in all the cardiovascular system, uh, structural, coronary, complex, uh, hemodynamic support and peripheral interventions, all of those things are done here every day. Uh, you'll also benefit from a very experienced faculty. We have amongst many of the pioneers in interventional cardiology in our country. And that works two ways. One is you benefit from all that experience and you'll learn a lot from them. And two, they're very well known. So when it comes to seeking for advanced fellowship or job opportunities. These are people that will lift up the phone and make calls for you and help you with your future, whatever your future career plans may be. We have had um, a very good amount of success with the fellows presenting at national conferences and publishing. We usually have certain areas of interest, different faculty members, and we'll help you join our projects or help you guide through projects that you may come up on your own. We have an extensive uh, number of patients here treated in this Gulf South region. This is the biggest referral center. There are four high complexity of cases and a large volume for most of the things that you'll see. And that allows uh, research opportunities. Uh, we always have more than three or four fellows presenting at every national meeting uh, that you can think of, ACC, AHA, for the interventional cardiology, SEAI, TCT, all those are meetings that are always very well represented by Oxner Fellows. And uh, we hope that you're gonna become one of those too.
very near the top of what the reason we're here is that we're all interested in education and training. Uh, and I think that's critical to our mission and I don't know that anyone would be here at OMC uh, were they not in their own way committed with a high priority to education and, and training in our fellowship. Otherwise, if people just wanted to practice, they would be in a community practice where they could take care of patients and do the things they want to do. And there are always pros and cons. I've been in fellowship programs for 40 years um, and take tremendous delight out of working with fellows. Um, you know, the, the dirty little secret is the fellows never understand that if you do this right as an attending, you learn from them, right? You don't have to teach them anything. You just have to let them teach you. And it sort of looks like a Socratic method, but in fact, it's the fellows dragging the staff forward. You know, technically for procedures and, and skills that cardiologists need to learn, you know, that is a, a training process like becoming any skilled craftsman, right? You teach people how to do things, they become masters of their craft, whether that's performing a reading an echo or performing a cath or an ablation or whatever that procedure is, there's a fundamental knowledge that fellows must learn. But what the attendings actually do is show them how. That we are a clinically oriented program. We love to do research. We love to get abstracts published and manuscripts written. There's not, we, we certainly encourage that. But we're a clinical program first. And we're looking for folks who really want to be excellent clinical practitioners. But if they're really trying to become the leading best cardiologist in their community or their environment that they practice, I think we offer them the opportunity to do that. Not without blood, sweat, and tears. So the fellows who excel in our program are the fellows who have the highest self-motivation and who want to make themselves better every day and who don't see failures as failure. They see failures as the next step to learning. I think we can make the best fellows out of the right material. I measure our success by the number of chiefs of cardiology that are now uh, in the United States. And as you look around to some of the best programs, you'll find chiefs, you'll find chiefs of cath labs, you find leaders. And that's because we train them that way. We train them to lead, we train them to trailblaze. And so for those with that ambition, come. For those who want to be average cardiologists, this is probably not the best location for them. Watching fellows mature from that wide-eyed first day, first week in the fellowship, to the third year who's called to the emergency room by an ED attending who treats that third year fellow like an attending, right? There aren't many fellows in the institution that get treated that way. And the respect that our third year fellows get from others uh, I think it is a testament to the clinical skills, the confidence. They've handled this before. It's not new. It's not the first time. Um, watching those fellows in action is, uh, it just reinforces the good things that we're doing uh, for our fellows. So um, I love teaching. I love the fellowship program. We love mentoring. We think Auctioner's a great place to be, great institution. So I would encourage those who think they will fit, who think this is what they want, should apply. But I think we have a, a quite good place to work here at Ashna. It's one of the a place that where not only do we have a very good clinical practice with really everything in the practice, but we also have a very good academics. I think a lot of people don't realize the amount of research that we do at Ashna, but our a group of cardiologists have by far the most research in Ashna. And I can tell you, Right now, as of today, uh, September 2, 2020, I have 878 papers on PubMed, and lately I've been publishing about two and a half to three papers a week. So there is certainly the, uh, the capacity to get good publications 
working at Ashna, and certainly from a trainee standpoint, it's an extremely good place to combine, combine uh, a good clinic, uh, clinical practice, education, and research all into one setting. And I think that uh, the people are happy working here at Ashna and living in New Orleans. It's a fun place to, to be, uh, and there's a lot of activities outside of work that are fun, and certainly many of our fellow cardiologists and the cardiology fellows you'll see down here frequently exercising, uh, doing either aerobics or weightlifting in the gym. So we care about health and well-being as well. Hey y'all, my name's Sutna Desai. I'm the section head of the Advanced Heart Failure uh, Cardiomyopathy and Transplant section here at Auctioner. Um, in New Orleans and I wanted to tell you a little bit about our team and what we do. Um, as an advanced heart failure and transplant program we have a really varied group of patients that we treat including acute cardiogenic shock, um, chronic heart failure, sarcoidosis, uh, a lot of the infiltrative cardiomyopathies and of course the mainstay of our practice is mechanical circulatory support and heart transplantation. There's a long history of advanced heart failure therapies and being on the cutting edge of heart failure in general here at Auctioner um, since the 1990s and over the years we've really grown as a practice, as a group and I think that all of that history and experience will really benefit any incoming fellows that are coming um, to get a well-rounded education when it comes to cardiology. So a uh, little bit about our service, we have a very active service that you as an incoming fellow would take part of. Um, approximately 35 to 40 patients split between two teams where we are fully primary, um, uh, what is it, primary admitting team and so you really go from the beginning when they present in cardiogenic shock to the selection process when it comes to determining if they're a good candidate for heart transplant, uh, mechanical circulatory support um, and on the, on the end of it when they get implanted or they undergo transplant. You really experience everything that you would need to have a full and well-rounded cardiology fellowship training. Our favorite part of working with fellows is really, I think for me, getting to see the progression of how, how much the fellows have grown. That first time that they come on, I think can be an, a little intimidating onto our service. You have patients with um, percutaneous support, uh, centromags, bivads, um, you know, transplants that have had a really complicated course, and it feels overwhelming. But then you see, you see how much the fellows uh, grow comfortable not only with us as a staff but with the complexity of the patients and by their third year they they're ready to be staff you know themselves and so I think just seeing that growth and progression is one of our favorite things it's a it's a great program uh, I've seen it go I've been here since 03 left in 06 for two years and have been back since and have seen the consistency throughout the program and I think that the the strong points of our program are the clinical experience. This is a strong clinical experience. You will leave here a very well trained cardiologist who won't be afraid to take care of anything and being able to take care of very sick patients and frankly you'll you will develop that skill very early in your fellowship um, you'll be able to do things by the end of your first year that a lot of general cardiologists can't do. Uh, I also think from a procedural standpoint, we have a, uh, a very hands-on experience. There are programs that um, are more about didactics and there are programs that are more um, hands-on and I think to be a good cardiology, you have to have a good mix of both, but if you don't have the hands-on, you're not gonna, you learn, we learn by doing. And in this program, that is definitely the mantra uh, when it comes to uh, learning both on the floors um, and in the labs, both the EP lab and the cath lab. Look at where the fellows go. Do the programs keep their own fellows? Do the fellows wanna stay in their own program? Because that's a mark of a fellowship uh, you know, if you have a program that you are vested in, you value your fellows, you're going to want them to become your partners. And what you have here are a fair number of physicians that did their fellowship here. And that is a huge plus for us. And when you look at what's in the lineup 
coming up after Hector in terms of the fellowship. We have fellows that have trained in this program that are now faculty that are very vested in the program. So I am I think the future is bright for our fellowship in terms of the leadership and the management of the program. It's in good hands. It's in hands of people who have been through this before, understand exactly what you've been through, and um, know where the opportunities lie and where the strengths lie. But I would encourage you, when you're looking at a program, look and see if they keep their own fellows and where those fellows end up. Because a good program and thinks highly of their fellows is going to try to recruit and recruit those fellows. And a fellowship program where the fellows feel valued are going to want to stay at that program also. 